What's going on guys, Kev Lester here today, and today I got something special for you as always. And if you can't tell from the sound of my voice, I am a little under the weather, but I'm gonna push through and try to make this video because I love making videos and putting content out there for my few faithful viewers. Thank you to all of you. And uh, today I don't have anything real, like extravagant, not gonna be doing to the truck, but I think it'll definitely make the truck look better. And let me go and explain to you what those things are. So for any of you that are new to the channel, this is my 2018 F-150 XL. 5.0 and 10 speed. Um, I'm new to the Ford world. I've actually been trash talking Ford for years, but I decided to give Ford a try. And I bought this truck. And it definitely caught my eye because it was a single cab with the big V8 in it and everything. But moving on. Uh, in my last video, I swapped out my matte black work truck grill for this metallic gray grill. And I think it makes it look pretty good. But it still does have some work check work truck elements to it that I'm trying to get rid of and uh, some of the main ones is those two antennas mainly the one on the roof and in this video both of them are coming off and I'm replacing the primary antenna with the white bullet antenna off of my old truck but not only am I uh, taking those antennas off I'm going to be taking off this little lower valence piece on the bottom of the bumper and if you can't tell the ground's a little wet because i decided to wash my wheels before i started this video and I actually took off the front license plate and uh it uh it was extremely dirty but i hooked it up with some of that awesome spray if y'all don't know what awesome spray is uh, i definitely suggest you look it up go to your local home depot get a uh, a gallon jug for like eight dollars that thing cleans a lot like it, it it cleans up dirt, grime, grease, blood. <laughs> it's funny because it advertises that right on the front of the jug that it, it gets rid of blood stains. And unlike Purple Power and other things, it's safe to use on the paint of your vehicles, which is why I used it on this. But uh, anyhow. And since I'm an idiot and decided to wash the wheels and then realize, hey, I want to take that plastic piece off, I'm going to let the... <laughs> The ground dry for a few minutes so i'm going to start with the roof antenna and then move on to the primary antenna and then i'll move on to the valence piece but uh it's still going to be wet but i figured i'd try to give it as much time as i can and let it dry but enough rambling let's go ahead and jump into it all right so we're going to go ahead and unscrew the antenna and i actually i think it's only hand tight on there because i've taken it off before but underneath it, it's like it's little platform that it screws onto and it's all wired in and i think i'd have to I take down the headliner inside the cabin and then I just don't feel like battling that and having to take this out of the roof and then there'll be a hole in the roof at least I think there'll be and that's just a whole mess so I'm not even gonna worry about that so for the time being I'm just gonna unscrew it and leave the platform on there yep like I said it was only hand tightened you can kind of see what I'm talking about right there it's not that noticeable when you're on the ground but in the future, I'll look into actually getting that taken off, but I know I know that's gonna require dropping the headliner inside of the truck, and I don't feel like doing that right now. So for the time being, that's just gonna stay there. But the roof antenna is off, and now we're gonna go ahead and move on to the primary antenna. All right, guys, uh, a couple things. My, my phone died when I was taking off my antenna and when I was taking off my antenna and trying to put the, the 50 cal bullet on there, um, come to find out, it won't fit. Um, none of my adapters will work for it, so I'm gonna have to look into getting a whole nother a bullet antenna. I mean, and that, that's fine, they're not that expensive. And you know, it'll actually be something fresh that I'm adding to the truck and not something recycled, but that just means more money I have to spend. But either way, we're gonna go ahead and move on to taking off this valence piece. And as far as I know, it should just be these 10 millimeter bolts going around the bottom. So let's go ahead and get these off. There 
we are. All right, guys, we got the little plastic piece off. Uh, I think it looks pretty good. It definitely makes the truck look a little bit taller. Let me walk out here a little bit so y'all can see what I'm talking about. It definitely makes the truck look a little bit taller. Now, one thing I am not a big fan of, and I didn't notice until after I had already taken the piece off, was that there's these three little black clips on there that help hold that thing on there that kind of protrude down at the bottom. See, they, they don't stick out that badly unless you're like up close like how I am. Like if you kind of walk out back where I was before, you could still kind of see them, but they're not that bad. Um, I'm not throwing the plastic piece away. So if in a couple of days or a couple of weeks or, you know, tomorrow, I realize that, hey, maybe that was a mistake. I should have ever taken it off. I can just throw it back on there. But y'all feel free to let me know, uh, let me know down below. Uh, should I put it back on or does it look good the way it is? But um, yeah, guys, that's all I got for you in this video. Y'all make sure you let me know what you like to see done to the truck next. And I'll see you in the next one.